Ravi Madhu's cooking is all about inspiring everyone to cook delicious cuisines at home. Before proceeding further to watch this video, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. Don't forget to touch the bell button besides it so as to enable automatic notification of every new cooking video. Also like the video after watching it if you really like it. Click on description button below or if you are watching it on laptop, touch the show more button at bottom of description column to find the list of ingredients and detailed recipe text. Today we are making Pindi Choli, this is the authentic traditional way how chickpeas were and are cooked in Pindi of Punjab, previously in India but now in Pakistan, Choli are best served accompanied with Bhatori, Kulche or Puri, but are perfect to serve with Chapati, Parantha, Naan or Rice as well. Choli that is chickpeas may be cooked using so many different recipes. We have already explained recipe of muddy chickpeas that is chikka Choli which go very well with Bhatori or Kulche. We are giving the link below in description column. You may click on it to find the recipe video. Today we are showing how to cook choli in pindi style that is pindi choli which are traditionally supposed to be the best variety of cooked chickpeas to be served along with bhatori. Watch the video carefully to learn the details and tips to cook best choli. Cook and serve this variety of chickpeas, accompanied with bhatori puri or kulche to your beloved ones on any special festival day or holiday, everyone is going to love it for sure. We have taken one cup of sauteed kaaboli chani that is white chickpeas to cook pindi choli, washed them thoroughly and soaked overnight. Choli might be soaked for minimum 6 hours or more for perfect cooking. Chickpeas have well puffed in the morning after soaking. Transfer soaked chickpeas into pressure cooker along with soaking water. Turn the stove on at medium heat. Pour more water into chickpeas. We have added approximately one cup. Add 1 fourth teaspoon or about a large pinch of kana soda that is baking soda into chickpeas. Also add about 3 fourths teaspoon of salt into it. We shall be adding more later while tempering choli as per taste. Add about 1 half teaspoon of cooking oil also and then close the cooker with its lid and lock it. Let it cook at medium heat until cooker whistles. Reduce heat to low after cooker has whistled and allow cooking at low heat for about 20 minutes. Turn off the heat after 20 minutes and allow pressure to release on its own. It may take 10 to 15 minutes. Remove lid after pressure of steam has released and take out as much chickpeas are required to be prepared for serving. You may do it for whole batch, but we are using just half quantity of cooked chickpeas at the moment, and we will refrigerate remaining chickpeas covered until required. Cooked chickpeas may be stored in refrigerator for up to 3 to 4 days, or you may freeze them up to 1 month and use them. Drain chickpeas but don't through boiling water, reserve it for using later at the time of tempering. Now let's prepare masala for choli that is choli masala, add about 1 half teaspoon or to taste into a bowl, remember that we had added some salt while pressure cooking them, also add 1 fourth teaspoon or to taste red chili powder. 1 and a half teaspoon dhaniya powder that is ground coriander seeds 1 half teaspoon or to taste amchur powder that is ground dried romango powder 1 half teaspoon or to taste kala namak that is black salt 1 half teaspoon puna pisa jira that is ground roasted cumin 1 teaspoon or to taste pisa anardana that is ground dried pomegranate pearls or seeds and 1 half teaspoon or to taste garam masala that is mixture of ground Indian spices and herbs. Mix all spices well into bowl. We have already given recipe of preparing choli masala in one of our previous videos. We will give link below. In description box, you may watch the recipe video by clicking on it if like to. You may use home prepared or store bought chol masala for making pindi choli. Sprinkle with prepared choli masala over drained chickpeas in pan. Mix all masala well into cooked chickpeas. Turn the stove on below pan to heat choli well. Now add reserved boiling water into spiced chickpeas. You may add amount of water according to your liking. But keep in mind that these choli keep on getting thicker even after removing from heat. Heat chickpeas until water in pan starts to sizzle or simmer.
Now add chopped ginger or ginger juliennes into pan over chili. Also add chopped fresh green chili. Adding green chilies is optional and you may avoid adding if can't bear the heat. We have added more ginger juliennes as we like them in abundance in chili. You may also adjust amount of ginger to your liking. Now remove chickpeas pan. From stove and place a small temper pan on it overheat with ghee or cooking oil in it to heat oil or melt ghee. Add 1 half to 2 thirds teaspoon of a chway that is caram seeds into hot ghee or oil. Lift the temper pan and bring back pan with chickpeas on stove. Add about 1 half teaspoon de ghee merch that is Kashmiri chili powder that is sweet paprika into ghee. It will add nice reddish color into chholi. Immediately pour temper over ginger juyans and green chilies on spiced chickpeas. Stir well to mix temper nicely into chholi and turn off the heat. Super yummy pindi chholi is ready. Transfer into serving bowl. Garnish with additional ginger juliennes, half slit fresh green chili and lemon wedges. Serve mouth watering pindi chholi accompanied with bhatori kulche, puri, or rice. Enjoy. We hope you have liked the recipe. Please click on the like button below and write your views on it in comments column for sure. Your feedback is very important for us. If watching video for the first time on our channel then click on our photo on screen or red subscribe button below to subscribe. Also click on bell button besides it to activate automatic notification of our all new videos. Stay safe and healthy. Thanks for watching.